All right, let's face it, the holidays can be a bit overwhelming between buying gifts for the family, friends, decorating, and buying all sorts of food for those uh, big dinners that you're going to make for the entire family. Well, many of us end up spending a lot of dough. And with me now is Vice President uh, and Senior Financial Consultant of Charles Schwab's, Mike Bonds, who is also our financial advisor. Thanks so much for coming in. Good. You're going to talk to us about how to manage debt this holiday season. Um, this is a big one, an important one for many of us. So what's the first step really in trying to dig out of a mountain of debt? Well, before I get any further, it is Veterans Day, so if you don't mind, I have to thank some veterans that have uh, been you know, impressed and, and helped me in my life. And that's, Absolutely. That goes to my father-in-law, Lou, retired Lieutenant Colonel uh, Donald Ray Byers, and my, my brother-in-law, retired Major uh, wow. William Mark Byers. So I appreciate them and all the veterans Absolutely. that... Uh, allow me to work with them with my practice here in Albuquerque. It's, it's a great joy for me to be able to do that for them, so thank you. That's fantastic. Okay. So back to your question. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think every family has to deal with debt. It's yeah. just a fact of life, but it doesn't have to control your life. I think the best choices that uh, parents can make or family can make is uh, to help themselves as well as their kids is just to <clears throat> prioritize their debt payments okay. as well as to manage their day-to-day processes, right? Prioritize, because yeah. the reality is, is paying off debt and managing your budget and being wise about that um, go hand in hand. Gotcha. And with that, I guess, you know, because it can seem so, it can <clears throat> all seem so overwhelming. So, right. you know, gaining control and bringing it all into focus some ta sometimes, a lot of times gets cloudy. It does. So the things you need to do first is, is prioritize your debt payments. And I want to okay. emphasize the payments because there are some debt that is good for you. And we've talked about this on the show before. Yeah. When you have a mortgage, for instance, um, that's a debt where you have an appreciating asset and it's got some tax benefits, but it also has a very low interest rate. So that payment you want to put at the bottom of your list because you want to make your payments on time, but it's probably not a priority to pay that debt off. Interesting. Okay. Very different with uh, high interest rate consumer debt like credit cards. Mm. So with credit cards, you want to list out the high interest rates first, go down to the lowest interest rate. Okay. You want to try to pay off a little bit more on the high interest rate while making the minimums on the lower interest rate. And then as you pay one off, you roll that payment into the next highest right. interest rate and so forth. The other thing you can do is actually consolidate your debt from high interest rate to low interest rate. A couple of ways to do that. One is you can home, use a home equity line on your you house. That's using money house. wisely. Yeah. But you can also use like zero interest rate credit cards if you want to, but be very careful if you do that because a couple of things, you need to be able to cancel the cards that you pay off you need to close them. Don't Cla leave them open. Cancel and close them. Cancel, if you do cancel that. and close, and be aware of any of the fees that are involved with the consolidation process because they can be upwards of three percent of the amount that you are actually consolidating. So, read it very carefully before you make those types of decisions. That's interesting because we know that there are a lot of offers out there. Credit there card companies are saying, you know, zero, um, zero interest rate for however many years. And the best uh, thing you can do when you get those is just tear them up and throw them right in the <laughs> file 13, right? Okay. It could be, and let, especially once you put your plan in place, because the key element here is to stay on budget and stay on plan. What about buying gifts, uh, putting gift payments on credit cards versus... You want to be I, careful. I, I mean, I, I know a lot of us are forced to do that. So. Well, it's, I know you want to do, the gift of giving is a great thing to have in the holidays, yeah. but the key here is you got to stay on budget with what you have. Okay, right? so be have you to spend, about right. And even if you get to the time in your life where you got to do a little cutting back, here's yeah. a really important lesson to learn is don't apologize to your children for not having enough money. Involve them in the process. So when you oh, go into good. the store, make a game out of finding the best deal for groceries or food or presents and get them involved because kids will learn these lessons very early and they'll take these types of things, budgeting, making good decisions, for what I want versus what I need decisions with them as they become adults. Because oh. When it comes down to it for us, it's making balanced decisions allow us to get the things, pay for the things that we need, get the things that we want, but use it with cash that we have. Yeah, that is for sure true. And I like that idea. Thank you for that advice sure. about bringing your kids into the, uh, the whole budgeting process. Parents sometimes them. try to keep that secret, but I think yeah, the best true. lesson is for them to see to you in action making kids. those decisions too. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yes. Financial advice. They're holding me to it now, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> All right, Mike. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming in and uh, shedding sure. some light on this. Coming up.